Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the makeup look for the day. I'm just kidding. This is a peel off mask and I discovered this on Amazon and I wanted to share it with you guys. So this is the Bliss Skin Rejuvenating Peel Off Mask with Ginger Extract and this is for dull skin. If you're someone who loves peel off masks then you probably want to try this out. Now this is already beginning to chip off my face but sorry for the crazy visual right now. I just thought I'd talk about this product and show you guys so it comes in a plastic container like this and the product is really finely milled you get about 100 grams of the product in here and you can see that there's a whole lot of powder product in there now the instructions say that you have to mix about 25 grams of the product which i think is quite a bit considering you're getting 100 grams so to mix 25 grams of this with 90 ml of water and kind of blend it in so that you get sort of a paste which you then apply on your face and you have to apply a thick layer otherwise you won't be able to peel off the mask now this is my second time like today is my second time using this mask i have used this once before like yesterday or the day before and i do like it it does definitely feel very cooling on the face it sort of has this minty fresh effect on the skin very cooling very soothing if you're someone who has very sensitive skin and you're not used to using a mask on your face which is which gives you that sort of cooling effect you're probably going to feel like it's burning but don't worry it's actually just the cooling effect of the mask on your face now a couple of things uh, one is that it originally retailed for 2200 on amazon but uh, it's now being sold for 750 rupees and i picked it up for 750 bucks and uh, i like peel off masks I, th I think that they're very hydrating and they really help to clear out the skin if you use them the right way and if you use them you know once in a while you don't have to overdo it so this is definitely a product that you can use maybe once a week or so that's my personal preference uh, i am using it for the second time today just to show you guys as a demo um the other thing is that i felt when i mix the powder with the water because it has this property of you know it has a property which creates the sort of peel off effect it does begin to form in the bowl itself so you have to be really quick and you have to get the consistency right and also sometimes when the powder is blended i mean the powder is milled so finely the water it's so finely milled that it's difficult for the water to completely seep in i don't know if you ever experienced that but i found it hard to blend all the powder in with the water so that's why i have like a few clumps of the powder on my face still now i did use my fingers to mix the powder and water together i didn't use a spoon i'm not uh, i mean i'm staying in a different place i'm not in bombay right now so i didn't have the opportunity to kind of go and do get a spoon or whatever you know so i just did it the best i could and i did like applying it with my fingers and uh, like i said you have to apply a thick layer so that you can peel it off eventually um if this mask does not dry my skin out completely it does leave it slightly taut once i've taken off the product and it does leave a very faint white cast because i think the powder is so finely milled it does sit on the skin once it's dry so you will have to go in and kind of rinse it off like for the second time say once you peel off peel off the mask then you have to go and wipe off the residue either with a wet cloth or with water so um yeah it does not feel, leave my skin feeling dry in fact it leaves it feeling very smooth very i would say kind of hydrated but just it just takes off like the excess oils of my face and uh, yeah so far i'm really liking it i just thought i should share this with you guys i did have to use some of the product all the way down to my neck and it is a bit of a messy process so my recommendation would be to use something like this just before you go in for a shower because uh, this can be quite messy you don't want to do this before you're going out or something like that so i'm gonna go in and get ready for the day just so i should talk about this really quickly i will come back and do the peel off session for you on camera as much as i can i just want to show you how it looks when you're peeling it off it's not like a it doesn't completely peel off in one go uh, that's another thing to keep in mind it does get a little messy even during the peel off process so like i said it's best to do this process either first thing in the morning before you're going for a shower or uh, in the night before you go to bed and if you're going to have a shower before going to bed you know so i'm gonna come back and show you what the peel off process is like so see you in a couple of well not a couple of minutes maybe five ten minutes see you okay guys i'm back and it's really difficult to talk right now because everything is so tight on the face but i've been wearing the mask for a 
good half an hour at least and it does take so much time to dry down as you can see this whole section still has a long way to go in terms of it drying out completely and you can see that the fact that it's completely white on top here like it's more opaque looking is because it's completely dried out now it has dried out here but not all the way through like if i touch it it's not like gonna smudge or anything but i do feel like it is a bit damp but uh, i don't want to keep this mask on my face any longer and i just thought i'd show you the process so i do have a bowl in front of me uh, I already peeled off a little bit which is on the neck because it was flaking off quite a bit. So this is how it kind of peels off. You can see the pieces here. Um, so you can't expect um, like one entire, uh, you know, you can't peel it off in one go. Basically, you have to peel it off in bits like this. So let's just, I'm just going to look into a little mirror here so that I can, uh, you know, begin peeling off. So I'm just going to start off here and just pull that back. So the bit that's a bit, it's still a bit damp, it's like a little bit rubbery but the parts that are completely dry are, I mean it's pretty dry when it dries down. So just pulling that off. Okay, so the parts that are fully dry, um, I just dropped a huge chunk and I don't even know where. But yeah, the parts that are fully dry will tug on the skin a lot more. So if you're very, like if your skin is super, super sensitive, then I'd say leave it on to about, you know, till it gets like this rubbery consistency and then peel it off. Um, don't wait till it dries down all the way. Now, gonna, like taking this bit off is going to be a little more sensitive on my skin. Uh, you know to pull off so if you're someone who has very sensitive skin i wouldn't say wait till it dries down so much also because when it dries down uh like all the way it's much harder like to get a like even like thing like this like it just flakes off and falls all over the place I am noticing that my my pores are all like shut at the moment. Also, uh, avoid applying the mask on your eye region because your eyes are extremely delicate. Like the skin around the eyes are even more delicate than the rest of the skin on the face. So you want to avoid those areas. So guys, I'm just going to take the entire mask off and I shall be back because this is going to take a whole while. I just take this off and be back in two minutes okay so i'm back and i finally got the mask off of my face and this is what my skin is looking like i don't know if it's looking any brighter than it did before but i'm just gonna tell you what i felt now today is the second time i used this mask and i definitely left it on for much longer than longer than the first time um also i like i said i the mask dries down it takes a long time to dry down so i had it on for a good 30 minutes at a minimum for sure uh and I also feel like you don't have to really wait for it to dry down completely. I think you can just keep it on for like 30 minutes, 20 minutes or whatever and then peel it off irrespective of whether it's completely dried down or not. But I think it should dry down to a point where once you peel it off, it kind of, you know, you get a decent enough layer coming off of your skin. Um, you can't expect to get one entire even layer while you're peeling off the mask from your face. Now apart from that, right now my skin feels really cool, it feels very smooth. I do feel like my pores have shrunk a bit for the time being because my skin is feeling cold at the moment. I think that that kind of has to do with it. Uh, there is a little bit of redness but that has to do with the fact that the mask got really dry especially on my forehead and around the perimeters of my face and uh, it kind of tugs on the skin once it dries down a lot so you do if you're someone with very sensitive skin like me you don't want to wait for it to dry down all the way i'd say 20 minutes tops maybe 20 30 minutes tops don't go further than that uh, so yeah also i do feel like like it says it's a product that helps with the circulation of your skin like ginger kind of promotes that i do believe let me just check once again or oh, it says at the back ginger is also known to stimulate circulation so yeah i do feel like the whole cooling effect the tingling sensation kind of uh act i don't know kind of it does make my face red like if i have anything that's cooling on the face my skin generally gets a bit red because i feel it does kind of activate something under the skin surface uh 
he like i have something in my eye right now i don't know whether it's from the mask or what but sorry about that um so yeah would i recommend this mask i would i can't say what like in terms of the like overall result i think this is something you have to use for like a month or two at least in order to see results but my first impressions of it rather my second impression of it for you guys uh is that it's a good mask it's cooling uh it definitely left my skin feeling uh not like i said it doesn't leave my skin feeling stripped out and completely dry but it does feel like taut like i do feel like my skin is tight in a good way and like you know sometimes your skin when you add these masks that strip off a lot of the oils when you smile and stuff it does feel like your skin is splitting that's not happening at all like i don't feel any sort of discomfort in that sense um so yeah if you guys want to see i'm just going to zoom you in a bit that's zooming out so you can see that my skin has just a little bit of redness and um uh, yeah so i i do like the mask as of now uh it's just one of those masks that are a bit messy so that is something you need to kind of keep in mind um when you're using it like i said use it either before you're going in for a shower in the morning or in the evening like before you go to bed like and you know kind of freshening up to go to bed so that's my recommendation uh out of 10 stars i would probably give it as of now a 7 only because i don't know what the results like final results of this are going to be like i will continue to use this and hopefully get back to you in a month or so from now uh do let me know what you guys think in the comments below and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next one lots of love and have a great week ahead right.